Good morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back every day. James is too busy serving ice cream this morning to look at my crazy hat. And also, here's the little bean. I mean, it was like a traditional first night home where there was no sleep being had, but really good, really good snuggles overnight. This is, we didn't show up, but Lauren got us a little gift, and this is one of the things that came in it. So I'm trying to get James to laugh at me, but he just doesn't care about his old man anymore. Um, we have our doctor's appointment. Doctor's appointment for Teddy at 11.45 a.m. Um, just like a new patient consult, welcoming him to the world. Talk about his jaundice, because he definitely is jaundice. Um, but we are taking really good steps to mitigate that. We kind of went through the similar thing with James, so we kind of know what to start before we even get to the doctor, and they tell us what we need to. Because um, that test that they do, the Billy Rubin test, it takes so much blood out of the little baby. It just is terrible. So whatever we need to do, whether we need to supplement formula, we need to sit out in the sun, like whatever we need to do, we're gonna, we're gonna do. Um, oh, I think, I think my Peter rambling is Causing him to stir. Who's ready to go to Disney World? <laughs> Oh yeah, Disney World. Oh yeah, where are you going? What? Grand Floridian? You promised me Port Orleans Riverside. That's what he's saying. James, you want to take Eve for a walk? Watch this. Evie, want to go outside? Safe. Matching outfits for the boys today. Um, we're gonna go to our pediatrician. Sarah's gonna go in with Teddy, and then I'm gonna take James while they're doing that visit. I'm gonna take James to the jewel. It's right next door to pick up a few things. Yes. Okay, let's go. Guys, we are doing it. Two little ones in the back. It's our setup. I can see Teddy. I can help Jamesy. So much room for activities. First, we're gonna go to. Kinko's so that Peter can get some paperwork done, like paperwork printed and signed for work. And then, very first pediatrician appointment. Playing footsie. We are at Kinko's. I don't have a printer, so I'm just printing really quick a document I need to get signed by one of Jan Teddy's doctors so I can finalize my uh, paternity leave. Uh, I'm on it, but like it's it's in pending status. I need to get this signed as the last piece before I'm like officially approved for my four weeks. But like I said, I am in the middle of my four weeks off. Jamesy fell asleep. Teddy is gone because he's in the doctor's office with Sarah. So cool thing about this like situation set up in the van is like now I can like just chill back here. So um, oh, I just found an old bottle of James's. We were supposed to go to the Jewel because it's right next door, but he's asleep. So it's not, we're not in a huge rush for a few things that we need to pick up. So if anything, we can walk to our local Jewel later, which would be fun because if we go as a big family, then um, I can bust out the Bugaboo and switch it to the donkey version where they're side by side and either have Teddy in the car seat because the car seat, we have an adapter to put his car seat in the Bugaboo or the bassinet. If you remember when James was a little one, he is a little one. We got two little ones. Anyway, I'm just gonna hang out back here with him in case he wakes up and wait for Sarah to text me and see how the appointment's going. So I've been watching the Ryan Reynolds interview on Netflix. Look who just woke up, James, your brother. Mom just texted me, your brother's Billy Rubin score is fine. I'm waiting to hear details on it. Do you wanna get out of your seat? We got some Moana going on. We're playing with some dinosaurs and we might right now we might, just might, get some James and Dad time because Sarah, I think, is uh, Teddy falls asleep on a pillow on Sarah's lap, so Sarah's gonna take him in our bedroom and see if she can transfer him to the bassinet. We have about an hour and a half before he needs to eat again, 
So they're both going to try. So they're going to try to take a nap, and um, hopefully Teddy will stay asleep in the bassinet. If not, I set up the monitor so I can maybe jump in there and grab him and see if he'll fall back asleep on the pillow out here. Uh, but we're going to try to have him sleep in the bassinet, and then that gives me some time, one-on-one -on -one time with James. We have a car palooza over here with the 2011 classic Winnie the Pooh. James, your brother and mom have slept for almost an hour. How awesome is that? Also, we got good sunlight coming in right here. When Sarah and Teddy wake up in like 15 minutes, boom. Nursing is going to happen right there. Get some sun on this John to see baby. Guess who's awake in the sunny land? Oh, we're going to go to the park. So James and I are going to go get the bugaboo set up. First time ever, double wide donkey edition. <laughs> bah, 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 bah. Time to switch. The bugaboo. Wow. Here's dream. What the? Wow, look at this. We got Jamesy, we got Teddy, all in the same stroller. I'm gonna get a blanket on him, and then I'm gonna hang our new Petunia Pickle Bottom wow. jacket from here because they have special adapters. We're gonna go for a little walk and hang out in the park and just get some fresh air. It sounded like James just said, hey! James, who's in there? What? We got this special blanket. It is the uh, like audio of my um, parents' vows to each other when they had their vows renewed in Disney World. So special. And Teddy, are you ready? Are you a teenager now? This is pretty magical. So I'm walking in just in like the figure eight with Teddy to keep him asleep. Getting some fresh air, a little bit of sun, a little bit of vitamin D for that Billy, Billy Rubin. Sarah's over in the park, walking around, following James around. Not do, not being too active, because she's still recovering too, but I told her the moment like she feels like she needs to take a break, we'll come swap, but she got to steal Teddy for a nap earlier, so this is me stealing Teddy back. Yeah, uh, sleeping babe over here. Rambunctious boy over there. We have full on reminiscing because a new season comes out. So does this season come out tonight? I don't know. I just looked at this post and just says May 25th, so I don't know if that means midnight. Oh, I don't know for sure we midnight or 2 a.m., yeah, but Sarah and I are exhausted. <laughs> We're just a tad bit tired. But we also have to be up every two hours with him, and he like nurses for like 20 minutes. So if we wake up every two hours after we put James down, and watch 20 minutes of Phil while you nurse. We could watch a couple episodes tonight. Alrighty, Teddy is asleep in my arms. Peter is putting down James. He actually ate a little bit early. So maybe we'll get some premature sleep in. I'm currently I'm crazed. Have, <laughs> currently have one baby in a bassinet asleep and another baby in a crib asleep. So we're going to go take a nap. And Phil, season five, drops tomorrow, potentially in two hours. Yeah, so it might be going, uh-oh. It's good to be home. Good to be home. This is going to be a bigger vlog, I yeah. think. Yeah. Tomorrow, we're going to post. Yeah. I'm excited. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Good to be home. Literally waited until... I was on the screen at 1.59 a.m. and there was only four seasons. I canceled my app, opened it up at 2 a.m. one minute later, and now season five has dropped. Phil Rosenthal, your biggest fans, are up. We're going to watch this entire season tomorrow, I guarantee it. <laughs> Good morning, we're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you come back every day. Oh, he's getting every last bit of that bottle right there. It is a gloomy, tangled start to the day. You are too sweet. It's like nuzzling Teddy. Oh gosh. Oh no, he lost his binky.
<laughs> James also brought that over to him when he started to cry. For you. <laughs> Gentle. Gentle. Yay, James. Oh, so sweet. Pretty cool. He loves you. It is. 1045. Oh, James is upset. 1045. Um, I will say we're doing we're doing good. Better night of not as much sleep, but more sleep. Bye. <laughs> much more sleep. Both of us and got showers in today. And content, like Teddy himself, like him getting into the group of, group of things. So. Yeah, I think anybody out there who is a new parent who has experienced this, that like showers and just getting refreshed does a lot mentally. Mm -hmm. Look, Sarah's even knocking the news. I just put it Solly on. baby wrap. Yeah, this one. Does it feel good? It feels really good. It feels like nice and secure and tight. Yeah. And that, like, not like too much on him, like it feels cozy. Yes. Um, and this is my first shot. Up you did great. Yeah, I didn't even. Yeah. I was. I didn't, I wasn't even here to help the you. The trouble was my shirt is like the same color, and so uh, I was so like, confused. where is what? But. Um, we have a lunch plan. It's rainy, so I don't know if we're gonna get to do too much outside. So sweet. I want to do like a target run later. There's some things that Jewel we forgot to get yesterday, yeah. and I'd just like to get out and get some fresh air. By no means yeah. are we perfect because this is like we're letting things like this suffer right now to make sure we get a new regiment of things like two babies and proper sleeping for mom and self-care and, and dad too. yes and 18 Charlie month old son he's too. yeah he's probably sulking somewhere hey <laughs> yay all right we're having early lunch Starting off with some popcorn. He's already looking sleepy. He actually woke up a few times overnight, which is not in his character huh? character portfolio. But uh, you know, he's going through change too now. Having this little squid around. Lauren, when she was watching James and um, Evie, she was a very kind friend and I actually like, got some gro light groceries for us. So we're gonna cook up this no, no cheese Amy's pizza, which we used to get in Florida when we were plant-based, and I'm gonna chop up some of this fruit to make a little fruit She gave us all plant-based fruit stuff. She gave us all plant-based stuff because she's the best. Because she knows we're trying. Yeah. Simple fruit salad. James has already started on that. Pizza's in the oven, should only take about 10 minutes. Quick, easy lunch. All right, here is the pizza all cut up and done. I cut up James's all finally, he's eating it now. He's ready, he's looking exhausted. He looks like he's ready for a nap really, but this is so delicious, thank you, Lauren. Someone might be waking up right as James literally fell asleep. James literally fell asleep in his high chair, like, with a piece of pizza in his mouth. So I woke him up, he finished a piece of pizza, and I like grabbed him and <laughs> ran to his room, snuggled him for like a minute, but he was like, lights out, so. He's exhausted or something, he's a grown boy still. Still, yeah. still, too, still. <laughs> English. Stew. <laughs> um, so now Sarah and I are gonna eat, and then I think. We're gonna edit. Sarah's gonna edit a vlog, because we haven't put one up in days, but we have a plan. Introducing Teddy to his namesake, Theodore Lawrence. He will, he will not stay awake for a fee. Got a bottle for him and everything. He's just, it's a little swoon by the window. I needed to distract James while I was cleaning up some of the toys. And I went through like a Hail Mary and I made a circle with the train track because yesterday he was playing around with pushing the toys around our table in our living room. I did not expect him to sit in the middle of it and push the cars around his butt. Also, Teddy's still snoozing like an angel. Yay! Yay, James! Good job! Look at this sporty kid in a black hawk's hoodie. Let's go for a little shopping trip. I know! I know! Your curls are gonna be popping in this humidity. Check it out, Disney's following us everywhere. And you look extra big in this very small city designed cart. You look like... 
<laughs> giant. <laughs> oh, you want a pineapple? Really? What? You see Anna and Elsa on that cup? Look at the spunk on this kid. Just lounging in the, in the cart right like this. We're almost done. I should look for one more thing. Never. How do I want to say this? I never underestimate. Never. Never lose sight of like truly, truly, truly caring people in your life. Tell me why our great friend Lauren, who babysat our child and dog, came over at 4.30 in the morning the other day and stayed for 36 hours taking care of our lo closest loved ones while we were at the hospital and Sarah was giving birth to Teddy. Not only did she just keep the two, two of the things we love most in the world just alive and healthy and safe, she actually bought us some groceries, <laughs> which are like, because we were at Christina's and Grant's a couple days prior to that, and because this was a spontaneous um, labor and delivery, like we didn't have the best state of like groceries when we went to go to the hospital because we, had, you know, so when we came back and we had dinner with Lauren and her daughter Lucy, and before they left, she was like, "Oh, I grabbed a couple of things, like nothing crazy, nothing a lot, but like even tonight, like this lentil veggie tiki masala." It's going to be great. I'm making up. So we usually have like rice or came with this, but Sarah's have it has a hankering for pasta. So I'm actually going to just boil up some pasta, chop up some uh, a yellow pepper and a red pepper. And then after I make the pasta, we're just going to toss all this in a, pa a pan to heat it all up. And it's going to be delicious, easy, um, quick dinner right on the fly. Thank you, Lauren. You are too, too nice and thoughtful. Making our lives easy during this transition phase of having two little ones and a furry little doggy. So the boys are back, Peter's making dinner. But something like that is such a Jamesy thing is that every time he comes home, even if it's for short periods of time, he gets so excited to see his toy. So, so he'll just like go off and be in his own little toy world. I am nursing Teddy. Sorry if this thought is in a bunch of little clips. I have to keep on putting the camera down to tickle Teddy's cheek because he does like start to fall asleep a lot. He's been very sleepy today. Um, but otherwise feeding, nursing has been going good. Straight forward. We go back to the pediatrician tomorrow. Um, but yeah, overall so far so good. All right, here's the quick and simple finished product. Just some tiki masala, peppers, and some pasta. All right, getting ready to put James down. A little, a little bit later for him, but it's all right. Sometimes it's fun to do that. We do a milk bottle, and we brush his teeth, floss his teeth with a, a dunk of that special fluoride, and then some water to go to bed if he even needs it. So this is what we do. We get all that ready. Get all that ready. And then we get him into his pajamas. These are sweet new Big Brother pajama gift from Lauren. Like I said earlier in the vlog, she's just beyond too sweet to us sometimes. This was a, in a gift that she had waiting for us when we returned from the hospital. This is a gift for James, because um, he's a big nightmare for Christmas fan. All right, I'm gonna hold Teddy tonight, and Sarah's gonna read our books, Corduroy and If Animals Kissed Goodnight. And uh, apparently this kid, somehow, is gonna be going to sleep. Which is wild, because we don't watch WWF, or we don't watch WWE, Whatever all the other ones are. But he's reenacting some classic fights from the 80s. I come out from putting Jamesy down. And what do I see? My sweet new baby who's been so sleepy for the past like 12 hours. Wide awake. He's a world traveler. He is a world traveler. He's ready to go. He's ready to party. The guys have been sleeping since like 11 a.m. Surely. Let's go. I don't think either of us are as exhausted today as yesterday. No, we were we got good sleep last night. Your hair is crazy too. Yeah. My hair is crazy. You should see your hair. Um, we are gonna watch so many feet fill. We we opted for sleep last night. We like Peter said it's like Christmas Eve when you see your presents before Christmas, and we just can't do it. So we're gonna watch some of that after we get. Teddy here, at least ready for bed, just in case he does fall asleep. Mm -hmm. 
It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Good morning. We are so glad you're here with Daily Vlogs. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back every day. Today we were watching Bucket List Family, having some yogurt on the couch. Had a good night's sleep, I think. Right, James? After eight. After eight, we have a doctor's appointment today for him. It's warm, maybe we can go for a stroll. I don't think it's supposed to be as rainy today as it was yesterday. Yeah, baby. He loves seeing all the kids playing in the bucket list family. Yeah, we need to get passports. Once we get Teddy's birth certificate, we're getting passports for me, James, and Teddy. I have one, it's just expired. What? Look at this sweet, perfect angel. Isn't he? We're gonna go get him checked up soon. Look at this sweet little perfect demon. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. She's like, mind your business. And someone over here is having a lot of fun with his little people. Oh, nice. Gotta put the ramp down so the elephants can go on the ferry. Well, something crazy just happened, which is awesome because I filled this out incorrectly for James's birth, but I am officially locked out of my my company's network and system. I can't I can't do work even if I needed to. Um, I went online to see about um, booking like a a discounted travel and leisure affiliated program um, for when James and I go to Florida. I can't log in, so that means that they must have approved my leave after submitting Teddy's birth documents. It may seem silly that I keep bringing it up, but like. I just can't explain how nice it feels to truly have this time off. I am now Thursday of my first week off of my four weeks, and I... James was born on a Sunday, and Monday, when we were still in the hospital, I had to do work. And every day after, even though I still had an additional week of, PT, of leave after that, I still had to sign on for about two to three hours every morning to do work and, you spent a week of your two weeks in the hospital. and I spent a week of the two weeks in the hospital so I'm like truly 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 on leave and isn't it wonderful I get to just hold this baby all the time right we're at the doctor okay so Peter and Teddy are in for the pediatrician appointment um Peter went in with him today me and James are in the car I thought he might fall asleep I was driving around a little bit um, but I just like I wanted to be able to be close to the office if they got done um, so I brought some snacks and we're gonna just hang out in the car and then that way we're a little bit confined like I'm still like I'm feeling good but I don't want to overdo it either like I've been keeping up with my Motrin and all of that but like I did just give birth so like I want on one hand, I was like, oh, me and James should do something. But on the other hand, I'm like, I want to save myself so that if, like, Peter, like, if all four of us want to do something, then I have energy for that. Um, and just keep it simple for now. What else is in there? Cookies. Good job, Teddy. Made it through without another blood Billy Rubin test. So that's what we were trying to avoid. Billy Rubin's a slightly higher than yesterday but still within safe zone and they're not concerned so as long as everything looks good we don't come back and another for another 10 days until he's two weeks old look at this party that that I, that party. I got to in the car <laughs> he was so excited when he saw you yeah hey, baby <laughs> all right james you woke up from a good nap sarah's editing the birth vlog very excited how is it Great. also we're trying out this dreamworks animation that's on apple tv plus Pine cone and pony. Oh. pony. James is uncertain. They're yeah. sweet, Teddy. I named it the exact same as James's. Oh, I love that. Except for VBAC success instead of labor to C-section. And like same format. Thumbnail and everything. Love it. It's called The Rising Sun. <laughs> The rising sun, get it? He's your son? Did you even mean that? No, I didn't. <laughs> wow.
guys in your matching joggers. I'm jealous. We were trying to go outside before the sunset. We might still make it a little bit for a little walk. But this glorious beast right here is maybe calm for the first time. And we turned on blue, which we haven't turned on in days. James is just sitting on my lap. Sarah's having a crisis of, person, of character. She really wants to walk somewhere not far, close by, for a panini-like panini sandwich that has a good kind of vibe. But it isn't sit down. All right, we've made it out. Teddy's first night out in Chicago. And uh, we're trying to go to Whole Foods to get some supplies. We're gonna make them. We're gonna make, make paninis. James, James is telling Teddy about the world and the, the wild streets of Halstead and Lakeview, Chicago. Um, so yeah, we're, I, the, the bus got nervous that it was going to run us <laughs> over, so we had to move away from the corner. But we're going to go to Whole Foods and try to get panini making supplies because we have a panini press. Yes, yeah, so we're going to make these. It is a little bit longer. It's going to take a little bit longer for like the reward of eating. But it'll be worth it. Yeah. It'll be worth it. Brothers in a big old city. Um, I don't know if we've referenced today that today is also Sarah's father's birthday. Yeah. So we got some cinnamon rolls. We're gonna heat toast up in the or heat up in the microwave or the oven Sup? and eat in his honor. And because he loves cinnamon rolls. Yeah. And we're, we're also get hot chips from Circle K right here. Um, so we're gonna have like sneaky snacks for Grandpa. Yes. James is and a maybe, big fan. Oh, we the um, and then maybe like watch one of his favorite movies or something. Like Forrest Gump, maybe. All right, we have our panini press all heated up. Here's the prep area for Sarah's sandwich or first sandwich. We've got Kobe Jack roast beef. Below that, you're gonna have a layer of pesto mayo or pesto basil pesto. On the other side, you've got your vegan mayo, turkey. Um, banana peppers, those are gonna get merged together and then we're gonna butter up both sides and toss it on the panini press for a nice press. You can hear the sizzle now for the press. Ooh, look at that. The exact thing I said to Peter after I had my first sandwich was, this was exactly what I had a taste for. Like, when he said, what did we want for dinner? I was like, this is very specific and we were able to make it happen. It was a little bit more effort than just going to um, a deli or a restaurant, but like all of our restrictions, this was this was a good choice. Peter is a certified sandwich artist, he just said. Plus, then we have the ingredients and we can continue making them for like at least a day or two. Teddy just cluster fed, oh gosh, for a long time. And this is the sleepiest I've ever seen him. Sarah just put on Forrest Gump, one of her dad's favorite movies. I definitely fell asleep putting James down. Um, I actually woke up. I must have like heard Sarah open the door without hearing her. Because I, I remember waking up and being like, oh no, I fell asleep in James's room. And then I saw the door opening. Sarah like was waking checking on me because it had been like an hour um so yeah wanted to get some things on after putting james to, down to bed but kind of lost all that time there tired it's late it's good to be home good to be home we know what our goals are we know what we hope to accomplish and believe me it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.